Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno for 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we'll feed your mind, your body, and your future. All right, when we get on here, let's, uh... all right, let's do the announcements. Okay, it is Monday, we're doing part six of the One Month to Win. It is a free video course, mini course, that is free for now, so make sure you get it. You just go to www.imhero forward slash free series and you'll be able to get the uh, one month to one series and so I'm going through it with you today so basically it would be five videos Monday through Friday and then you have exercise to do with as well make sure you're on it also uh, we, we pushed Instagram last week this week uh, I'm going to promote the YouTube page if you go to our YouTube page at Dr. Zeno you'll be able to see all the 15 minute fuels you'll be able to get all the We Are Heroes and We Are Heroes episode help me out guys if anybody knows the episode it's like in the 40s uh, it's when we're actually coming back from Colorado Springs, and it's a really good one. I mean, you got to check out the edits on that one. It's uh, it's definitely cinematically beautiful, and not because I'm in it. Um, even though I give that kind of like rough, rocky look, I get it. Uh, so it's a really good one. Check it out. A lot of good, um, good mindset stuff. Good. Uh, there's a really good bit at the end when we talk about, you know, do you feed the secret identity or do you feed the hero? And, you know, whatever you feed grows. And so definitely, oh, George said, thanks, George. It's episode 42, so check that out. Uh, so basically check that out. All right, so I had a crazy weekend. It was awesome in a good way. We loved it. We went to uh, Tampa, Florida on Friday, spoke in Clearwater on Saturday, flew back, flew to Denver on Saturday, spoke in D Denver on Sunday, and flew back to Houston Sunday night. So... My arms are killing me. <laughs> All right, so let's start with part six. So we got a couple people on. We're going to start with uh, part six or day six of one month to win is called tracking your win or tracking your progress. A very important thing. And this is definitely a huge practical step you could do in any area of your life that will make a huge result. So remember, the reason why I said let's start with the one thing is because it can make tracking it really well. And then again, after this month, I want you to do more than one thing. You can track them all. So tracking it is as simple as uh, using your phone or using actually a notepad if you want and track your one thing. So I'll use a couple examples. One way, if you track your finances, I'm telling you right now, that is a huge way that you will save not a few hundreds of hundreds, if not a thousand bucks per month. Like if you want, if you want to make a thousand bucks a month, if you want to make it, start tracking what you spend your money on. And I'm telling you, you'll 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 make a thousand by just saving it because you would not realize how much money is going through your fingertips. You know, because the thing is, the reason why money goes through our fingertips is because it's being replenished. Right? We're making it. It's coming in. It might not be coming in the way you want it to, but it's it's leaving your fingers. Uh, so tr uh, start tr uh, tracking that. Like if you put air in your tires, write it down or put it on your phone. Because then each time you track something, you, you get really accountable to it. See, what you don't track, you lack. I'll say it again. What you don't track, you're going to lack. You know, what you don't pay attention to is the thing that gets you. So that's why that one thing, you know, I know the one thing could be easy because I knew later on when we got to this day, it, you would see where this one thing you're going to pay so much attention to that there'll be no variables. So let's track your, your, your finances. We'll do that. So everything you spend money on, track it. You put air in your tires, track it. You get that Slurpee at 7-Eleven, track it. And so you'll say, before you do, you're like, man, do I really need the Slurpee? You'll start pulling that stuff. Because you'll see the Slurpee is actually an, a negative or zero uh, income producing activity in my life. It's probably not worth it. And you'll be, you'll be surprised that Starbucks coffee, that Slurpee, that, uh, that extra drink that you have uh, with dinner, and that dessert add up over the month, uh, a couple hundred bucks. So start tracking it, write it all down. Uh, if, if it's health, if you're looking at your diet, write down what you eat. That was just huge for me. The way I, I mean, just writing down what I eat on a daily basis keeps me accountable. It, uh, it makes me focus on that goal because that was the variable that I needed to get reach my goals. So because I, I, I wrote down everything I ate, then I had a, actually, I actually sent in my diet every week to uh, the person that was actually I was being held accountable to or what I do I said in my diet and my pictures and so all that accountability because we were paying attention to it and we were tracking it it because I because I just was tracking the whole thing 
I really nail that goal really fast. So when it comes to dieting or anything like that, if you're trying to eat better, track what you eat, right? So because, because what happens when you go to grab that cookie and you got to write it down, it's like, do I really want to write down I had a cookie? You're like, no. And so it just keeps you accountable. Uh, relationships, you know, track the, if you, want to, if you want to say I love you 10 times a day, track it down, make little slashes on something. But you see, whatever that thing you want to improve in or whatever goal you want to reach, I want you to start tracking it on a daily basis starting now. So if this is day six, for the next three weeks, track that goal and you'll be amazed at the consistency, at the accountability, and how when you pay attention to it, you will realize all the variables that really got in the way of you reaching that goal in the past. The reason why you haven't been able to achieve those goals maybe in the past, now you're doing it now, is not because I have some genius program, it's just because you were never aware of the variables. You were never aware of all the inconsistencies that we were blinded to that really served to get in the way of reaching your goals and your dreams. So when you start to track things, you'll notice the inconsistencies, you'll be able to correct them immediately. You'll be able to decrease all the variables, right? because you're tracking it so there'll be no variables. And when you do that on a daily basis, then here's the thing, when you write down whatever that goal is for the day, the relationship, the finances, the eating well, the working out, taking care of your body, or your business, whatever that might be, at the end of the day, you could look at it, and it's a win, right? So you're adding to the win, you, you nailed a win. And then tomorrow, you know, you turn the page and see, I see what I did yesterday, and I'm writing down what I ate today, or, or, or this, you know, what I spent money on today, if that's my goal, and then you get to see another one, and then it builds up, and you get in the habit of watching something. Now, over time, you get in the habit of making better choices, and you may or may not want to continue to track, or you may tra track other things. So any area of your life that you feel you're struggling in, the easiest thing to do, I would tell anybody, start to track it. Because when, tell, when someone tells me, Dr. Zeno, I'm eating great. I don't know why I'm not losing weight. That person sincerely, 100% means it. They truly believe they are sincerely eating great and they don't know why they're, they're not losing weight because they don't see the blind spots and they don't see the variables. And then when you say start tracking it and they start writing down everything, you see they've been snacking with a shovel. You know, they, they start throwing, there's a, a burrito shows up over here and a bag of chips and, and some popcorn. You know, so you start to see, ah, there it was the whole time. Or I just had a little soda here. You see how everything goes up. And so, so the whole time, they sincerely felt they were doing well, but actually when they tracked it, they saw there was the blind spots that got me. And their entire life turns around. So tracking it, it doesn't take away from your sincerity, of course, but an area that you're struggling in, it's not that you're insincere or you don't want to, you're just not realizing the blind spots. So it's a great way to see the blind spots as long as you're honest with yourself. And listen, if you did have a, a, a bag of chips or something, write it down. And then when you look at it the next day, say, you know what? I did really good here. And don't, don't judge yourself. Say, like, I had the bag of chips. I'm going to try to go today. And then instead of having that bag of chips, I'm just going to have maybe some celery or, you know, whatever. You know, you're going you're to try to do better the next day. And that's all you could ask of yourself. Be a potentialist, right? All you can do is do the best you can with what you got in the moment you have it, all right? So I like that. Marla said, in nature and in personal life, tracking leads to catching. So absolutely. So when you start to track something, that's why we're just starting with the one thing. Now, after this, because you get a feel of it, now um, when you start doing this on your own, you'll be able to track five different things, 10 different things if you want. Like my office, I track so many things uh, and I got so used to it, it, it's like a violin. So any little variable, I just tune and the office gives me an automatic uh, feedback. So track things. It's a very simple thing to do. Just track it and you will, if it's finances, you're going to save a few hundred bucks this month, guaranteed. If it's uh, relationships, you'll get to see how little or how much you're saying I love you or doing good and loving things to your partner. It might be just having that date night. If it is your work or your job, what is that? You know, if it's your work or your job, that's very easy. If you have a sales job, Track how many calls you make a day if it's a sales job. You'll be surprised. You think you're working hard, but then you realize I only made five sales calls. So then the next day, try to make it six or ten. Uh, Darren Hardy had a great exercise. He actually had a stopwatch when he was in real estate. And he said um, he felt he came home feeling that he, he worked so hard that day. And he actually went door to door on houses that they would, were private for sale just to list them. 
And what he did, he had a stopwatch, right? And he had a piece of paper and he walked up to the door. As soon as he rang the doorbell, he hit the, he hit the stopwatch. He talked to the people and when they were done, he stopped it. And he did that all day long. And the total amount of active work he did that he thought he was working for all day was a total of like six to eight minutes. And he goes, the highest efficient work he, he really got in in his life tracking it was about a half hour to 40 minutes. That was at the peak. That was like when he picked up the phone, he started the timer when he started dialing and talking, right? And then when he hung up the phone, he stopped the stopwatch. So, so a lot of times when we track things, I know that was to the extreme, but I'm showing you there's people, the successful people do extreme things just to show that sometimes we think we're really doing well. We, I am working hard at work. Well, really track what you're doing. Like how many times did you check your cell phone at work, you know, when you're supposed to be doing something else or you went on Facebook, or you went on Instagram. And if you feel busy, but at the end of the day, what was the efficient amount of work? So I'm not saying to, well, if you work for me, I'm telling you to stop doing that. But uh, at your job, you know, why don't you spend less time there and just do a little bit more efficiency at work, get more done, add more value to the workplace. And over time, of course, you'll be able to get more results especially at work. So just track things. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, if you do, make sure you watch episode 42 of We Are Heroes. Go to YouTube, make sure you join our YouTube page and you will see on Dr. Zeno, make sure you hit the follow and the, and the notify. You'll get a bell every time it's on there. And that's a great station to have all the We Are Heroes, the uh, 15 Minute Fuels, all the great things there. And we do, we're, we've been doing a couple, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, little side vignettes. I guess it's called a vignette. I don't know. It's a little side videos that you uh, kind of only see on YouTube that are kind of separate from the, the 15 minute of the We Are Heroes. Once in a while, we'll do some, uh, some side ones there, so make sure you see that. Uh, subscribe to all uh, social media as well. Any questions, comments, or anything like that, even to make the One Month to Win Better, please private message me because what we're doing here, we're giving you this series. I want to give it to you guys first at no charge, no cost whatsoever. See how you like it. If there's any way you can make it better, please let me know. I love the humble critiques, and then we can actually make it better as a team, and then I'll probably start getting out to the masses uh, to help as many people as we can and find the hero inside them. Uh, thank you guys so much for your prayers and your support. And remember, uh, as a hero, you know we, we are admired and we're idealized for outrageous achievement, contribution, and courage, and nobility, all right? So remember that when you go out today and help as many people as possible. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow for part seven on One Month to Win here at 15 Minute Fuel. God bless.